Are you a Tandem Diabetes Care pump user who's trying to figure out how I can integrate with the new Dexcom G7? Well, first of all, you'll get an email telling you when you can update, and it doesn't require a new prescription. You just have to have the pump, and it has to be in warranty. So Dexcom G7 will work with the control IQ, but not with the basal IQ. Today, we're gonna dive into all the little spots and what it really looks like when I integrated my Dexcom G7 with my Tandem T-Slim. This training is best for current pump users. Um, if you got a pump and you purchased it in 2023 20, in November, your new pump will come with it set up. Before you go through the training, I'd make sure that you have the right Dexcom G7s. You have to make sure they're compatible. You can tell if it's compatible by seeing if there's a white line underneath the coating at the bottom, you're good. If you have G7s without the white line, there is a way to get those replaced. I'll drop a link in the description below. But now I wanna to talk to you guys about how to actually get started with this new training. When you log into your Tandem account, you'll be prompted to say, hey, you have some new software, let's do this. So it gives you this lovely page and you start to click the buttons to understand your requirements and how to do it. Um, it goes over the CGM com compatibility a piece again, the white line, remember white line, that's all you gotta know. If you know the white line, get it replaced. So there's three sections here. You go over their CGM, you go over new features, and then understanding the changes to the mobile application. The first part is really just talking about how it looks different and how to really update it to the G7. So you'll be able to see the G7 on your phone and in your um, pump itself. And it goes over that it works with both the G6 and the G7. So you don't have to rush and use your G7 stuff um, if you still have G6s. So it goes over the exercises, it goes over so many pieces of it. You need to make sure your pump is plugged in and you have the uploader ready so that you can do the software. Also, when you plug it in, make sure you're disconnected. That could just go poorly. So you stop all deliveries as you can see here and make sure your blood sugar is okay. Mine was not great, but I still did it. But you have to turn off your pump, which I had to remember how to do that. Um, you hold it down until it, the screen goes black. It takes a couple seconds, but you just hold it and eventually your pump is off, just like this. It's gonna stay off because it's doing the software upload, so don't freak out. It's just part of the process. Um, once it's good, you reboot your pump. It gives you a bunch of prompts. You just click it till it works. As you can see, my pump is struggling, but it eventually will reboot and then just says booting for a little bit. And I've never actually had that kind of happen. I don't remember that with my other software updates, but another important thing is keeping your pump plugged up during this whole time. It's writing these seven files and it takes a little bit of time, but if it's not plugged up, it's not gonna work. And as this is going, you guys can see it just takes a little bit of time. It's writing the files and then it'll process the files. So keep it plugged up, have some patience because it takes a bit of time. Um, as you can see, it's on writing file seven and then it'll switch to processing. Processing goes a little bit quicker. I'm gonna pause here and show you guys, hey, these are my replacement G7s. So glad these came in the mail. I timed it so I could do my update, but um, this is here. I checked them out to make sure that they have this white line. And as you guys can see, this is that. If you need your replacement, there's a form on Tandem's website. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below that you can send them in. Um, they don't actually take your old G7s, but you can see these are the difference between G7s for your pump compatible and that aren't com pump compatible. Most important part here, make sure it's compatible, <laughs> have the white line, and you need this to actually set up your pump if you're going to be using the G7. So as you see here, I am putting on my G7. I had a G6 on at this time. Um, so I did it so I could have some overlap as well with the sensor so I can just see because I hadn't been on my G7 in a while. but. Simple process, just like the G7s, you are able just to quickly pop it in, squeeze it, it's on your arm. I love it. It's pretty painless, to be honest. Uh, I love this compared to where I started with the G5 or G4. Those used to hurt. This doesn't. It's so much tinier, and I'm just so excited to have this integration. But it was pretty simple, but I did this while I was doing my software update. As you guys can see, this is the size difference between the G7 and the G6. So once I did all of that, I went back to my pump and you go to CGM. 
I don't know why my pump was being delayed, but it is. But it's like start G7 sensor. It's going to ask for the pairing code, which is on the G7 itself. Then you have to enter it in again. This is very similar to the G6, um, but I have done this on my pump rather than just on my phone. And boom, you're there. You can re you're ready to do this one sensor startup. And it's so much quicker with the G7. As you guys can see, it's just that little piece of the pie. So once you have updated the software and you've gone to the training, you are ready to go. I put in my G7. I changed my cartridge. I loaded that stuff. Did all that pieces that you guys should be familiar with if you're using the G7 and the tandem pump. Um, it's the same process for the uploading the cartridge. Take some times um, to do this here, but it, it worked pretty flawlessly and in no time your G7 is going to be working. So this is me living my life G6 free saying bye to that bad boy on my next day after wearing it for a little bit. And here I am pumping and integrating. Here are a couple changes to the T-Connect app. Um, I go and search for it because I don't have it saved, but it looks pretty much the same. You can see your time and range. You guys do not judge me on this because it's been one of those days. But you go and you see your glucose is populated there with the G7, just like it was with the G6. You can change your carbs. You can change your units. I'm putting in 12 carbs right now. And boom, same similar process. You just click deliver bolus. It'll ask for your face recognition and you are good to go. You are living with diabetes. Um, here in the app, you can get your CGM info. info. You can see it's a G7 and the pairing code and everything is in the T-Slim app, the T-Connect app. And you can unpair your pump. I don't think you should do that unless you need to, but the app is still pretty seamless and such a great tool for managing my diabetes. Wishing you guys the best of luck with your pump and G7 integration. And let me know what questions you have. The software update was pretty self-explanatory. It was a little bit longer than I expected, but I'm so glad that I paid attention because there are significant changes just because it's a new Dexcom that you are integrating with us. So make sure that you pay attention and you reach out to Tandem support. If you have questions or any issues getting it integrated, um, you want to make sure that you know how to use your pump with the new tech and that it's working pretty seamless for you. So Again, let me know what questions you have, drop in the comments, direct message me, anything you want. Happy to help and happy pumping.